guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing my september no november we are doing my october boxy charm unboxing I got this it was jam-packed like it was full like the box wasn't the right one for it but that makes it even more exciting it does look a little beat up so I don't know um, what this is about if you guys know comment down below because that looks kind of odd compared to all the other boxy charm boxes I've gotten it's just a plain black I don't know if that means anything. I was gone for a month from boxy charm and that's because I'm busy with other subscription boxes to avoid like an overload of products and items and just you know spending too much money as I try other new subscription boxes I turn off or pause other subscription boxes so it was boxycharm's turn last month and it's not that i don't like boxycharm i mean i love boxycharm um i think it's like the best makeup subscription out there you get the most out of your money i was trying to afford the pat mcgrath palette um which i have on my eyes today and now that i have pat mcgrath boxycharm is back i've already looked okay i peaked it's been too long i missed boxy charm because i paused my membership i didn't really get to choose that one choice item that we normally have um so the whole box is chosen for me by boxy charm that's interesting to see if they actually you know created something that i really really like opening this box you get a card of course and it looks beautiful looks kind of like a cross between a horror movie and you know a candy store we do have an online pop-up coming up for those of you who are current boxycharm members and i love shopping there it's on november 10th you get the best deals i mean four dollar mac lipsticks okay you can't beat that they're normally 18 dollars for a full-size bullet so that's where i get all of my makeup needs or skincare needs so if you are a boxycharm member boxycharm pop-up is november 10th um in the back of course are the items that are in my box now the good thing about pausing the box is that i get a free gift whenever i sign back on this is the october boxycharm base box i pay 25 dollars a month no shipping charges i think there's tax for it and you're supposed to get over 125 dollars worth of makeup or skincare depending on what profile you have set up and so when i returned i got a free gift so let's start with that and it's basically a gift that's usually from last month's box malin and goetz recovery treatment oil so i personally haven't tried this brand before it's a beauty oil if you guys have watched my um ulta's 21 days of beauty sale i bought my very first beauty oil from elemis and it's great i mean especially now it's the winter time i can literally feel my face cracking a little bit the oil is so soothing on my face and it doesn't break me out so this recovery treatment oil it's an antioxidant oil this is what it looks like right there i just don't want to open it yet because i still have the elemis one that i'm working on i don't know what the original retail price for this is but i'll put it up here on the screen somewhere i feel like it's definitely worth it coming back to boxycharm if you get this gift can you imagine if i pause every other month i would get a gift every other month ipsy doesn't do that though you know i've paused my ipsy already too and i don't get a free gift coming back but the difference is with boxycharm they don't have the pause feature like ipsy does so ipsy you can pause you don't necessarily cancel and and delete your account with boxycharm when you stop it's like cancellation you get a whole new account number so that's why there's that free gift i think which i actually like i gotta tell you october box amazing for me um it's everything that i ever wanted the only thing that's not in here i'll tell you right now is the luxie brushes but it's okay because i went into boxycharm and the luxie brushes were on sale for like four bucks i think okay the first thing that i saw when i opened the box aside from the card is this murad hydration 
AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. I don't necessarily want like acids in my cleanser because I want to be able to control the amount of acid that I put on my face depending on the need. This is an exfoliating cleanser that can be used two to three times per week and it has both types of acids that are very common in skincare. The AHA which is meant for you know minimizing pores anti-aging benefits. EHA is more for acne. It's aka salicylic acid. It helps calm those acne redness down and helps heal the skin. So I think this is good for someone like me who has problematic skin, who has acne prone skin. I'm excited to alternate this with my regular cleanser, the Tula cleanser. So I'm glad I got this one. The Mu Red cleanser is $40. Murad is an expensive brand. We all know that. Okay, the next item is a palette from Beauty Bakery. It's so pretty. If you guys remember, Beauty Bakery is kind of like a food themed brand. Like their design, the names of their makeup products are very um, food related. So this one says breakfast in bed eyeshadow palette. I think I want to keep this but I'm undecided. That's why I haven't used it. But this is what it looks like. So far I've tried only one beauty bakery palette and this is the proof is in the pudding. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> this has received a lot of love and a lot of use. My most favorite nude palette of all time and the pigmentation, the quality is great. So I love it when it comes to the Beauty Bakery eyeshadow formula. So that's why I'm tempted to keep this. But as you can see, it looks very cool tone and I don't gravitate towards cool tone palettes. Although this color right here could be nice. I mean, when it hits the light though, guys, it's not coming off as boring, sorry to say, but it's not coming off as boring to me. That's why I so kind of want to keep it. These two, oh, I want to swatch these badly. I don't know. I have to think about it. I did get the new Pat McGrath palette, so I don't really need more palettes. But guys, if you see this in my giveaway, I don't think you'll regret getting this really amazing brand and eyeshadow. By the way, I'm Variation 69. It's the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette is $38. Every single unboxing I've watched, I've seen this in their boxes. So this is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. Love the packaging. And this is one of Tarte's Cruelty and Vegan. So it has that seal right there. I think they're big on maracuja oils. So I was kind of scared about putting like an oil on my face. I tried this on my makeup today. It didn't make me look like a oily mess or overly dewy. I love the spray. It's like a continuous spray. I hope you guys can see that. And I think I can compare this to kind of like MAC Fix Plus, but then MAC Fix Plus doesn't guarantee setting your makeup for 16 hours like this one. So I'm excited I got this one. It's the Maracuja setting spray. It's $23. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and it sets your makeup for 16 hours. So wow. Maybe for me it's going to be like 10, but that's okay. I'll take that with my oily skin and all. Another item is the Spawn Gel Tonka Musk Infused Buffer, Body Buffer. Yay, more Spawn Gel to add to my collection. But actually, I had this brilliant idea. I decided that I'm going to collect more Spawn Gels and gifting them for the holiday season. By the way, this is also in my 500 subscriber giveaway. If you haven't entered that giveaway, guys, please check out the video right here. And I'll put it up in the cards and also in the description below. If you are subscribed to my channel, please enter my 500 subscriber giveaway. And I have one of the spawn gel in there too. It kind of smells good. And then you go. <laughs> no, it's good for the most part. Not my favorite. It's priced at BoxyCharm for $20. Last item that I got is the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Kupu Kupu Aku. Kupu Aku? I don't know, lip butter from Zol de Janeiro. <gasps> yes! 
I so wanted this. When I saw this in my box, I was like, that's it. It's all worth it to me now because I've never tried it before. I didn't know Sol de Janeiro had a lip balm. I mean, we all know about their body creams, body butters, and the packaging you guys have to see. So look at the packaging, guys. Such a cute bullet. The scent, I don't know. It smells very chocolatey. There's the color right there. And it says it's a tinted lip butter, but there's no color for me, at least. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it just looks very shiny and moisturizing. And when I put it on my lips without any lipstick on or makeup on, it was so moisturizing. I am looking forward to using this more often during the winter time, just to kind of hydrate my lips. My lips already have some kind of gloss on it. but it's very moisturizing. I love the feeling. I don't like the scent that it's giving out. It smells, ah! It smells like candy corn, yeah. So this Sol de Janeiro Tinted Butter Lip Balm is $20. $20, so it's expensive. Zol de Janeiro is just expensive in general. I'm personally not wowed by their um, bum bum cream, but this one, definitely a must. That is everything in the box. So just quickly, I got the Tarte setting spray. I got the Murad AHA BHA cleanser. I got the lip butter from Sol de Janeiro. I got the Spawn Gel and I got the Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna put the total price of this box here. If you remember, I did pay $25, and that's excluding, excluding the Malin oil. It's variation 69. I think it's an amazing box, guys. What do you think? And yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you're wondering what I have on my face today, I have another Pat McGrath look. I'm excited to show it to you guys, but um, but there's one thing to note. Yes, I know my wings don't match. <laughs> Make sure to watch my 500 subscriber video. Yeah, enter the giveaway. I've got a great, amazing skincare slash um, makeup giveaway. There's gonna be two winners in that giveaway, so I would love for you guys to enter. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely stick around, join the family. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!